Team City offers code coverage and information about duplicates in code and code inspections. Let's take a look at these. First of all, in the overview tab, we can see a summary of these different aspects of the code. In particular, we can see the code coverage summary where we have, in this case, 57.9% of classes covered, the same method, statements, and we see some lines about duplicates and code inspections. We can click on the full report and that would be the same as clicking on the code coverage tab. So let's go ahead and do that. And it now shows us the full report for the code coverage. Here we can see the overall coverage summary as well as a coverage breakdown. We can sort by the different columns. We can click into each of these and find the namespace and the files where it shows us the coverage for that specific class. Where it is green, it means that the code is covered. Where it is pink, it means it's not covered. Back on the summary page, we can see the statements, percentage, methods, classes once again. And of course, we can loop through all of the different builds and see the code coverage progress over time. Team City also allows us the possibility of detecting code duplication during a specific build configuration. By enabling code duplication detection in either Java or .NET code, Team City will analyze our source code and see if it finds specific sections of code that can potentially be duplicates. When we have duplication detected, the duplicate tab will be enabled and we can click on it. And there on the top, we can see the scope, which is referring to the path where code duplication has been detected, duplicates that it's found and the instance lists. At the bottom, we can see the two different files. In this case, we see that the URL parsing bug.cs file on line six and 27, there is potential code duplication. Now, if we actually scroll through this, we can see that yes, up to around 95, 96% of the code is actually duplicated. However, the setup for the test is a little bit different as is the actual result. And this is quite common because a lot of times tests can be exactly the same in terms of code, but the input parameter is different. So while this could be assumed as a false warning by Team City saying that this isn't actually the same code, it is nonetheless a good indication that maybe there is a different way we can approach this. Maybe instead of having two exact similar tests with different inputs that are mapping to different bugs, maybe we should do row testing, have the same code and have different inputs. So again, while duplication is detected and often it is not warranted by Team City saying that it's duplicate, it is a very good indicator that there potentially can be a problem of code duplication in our code. Team City combines the power of IntelliJ's inspections for Java as well as ReSharper's inspections for .NET and enables us to run these on the server. In essence, providing us with a mechanism to detect any code issues during a build. Here we see an example of running code inspections on a C Sharp project. And this is configured by the build configuration administrator who can enable a step which is code inspections and define either to use the code inspections that default ReSharper provides or IntelliJ provides or a specific file with inspection configured which has been checked into source control. Here I'm using the default and we can see that Team City has detected a series of issues in our files. We can select a specific scope and then drill down to see the actual problems. On the right hand side, we see the actual file. So here it's indicating that, for instance, a method get file content type can be made static. In line 71, it is showing us that a method add prefix bar can be made static so on and so forth. You can also select inspections based on the type of inspection as opposed to the actual file or namespace it's in. So for instance, if I click at the bottom here in consistent naming, it will show me that there are three constraint violations and then take me to these files. Now the build configuration can also be configured so that if there is a certain level of inspections, then it can make the build fail. 
if we don't want the build to fail we can simply use this as a report to take a look at the inspections of that code and see if there's any potential problems.